A, the diagram on the right shows a sector VOW, so VOW from a circle with center O. So we know this is the center. The arc VW, so this arc subtended at angle of two radians, so we know this one is extended from the center of two radian at center O. The sector is folded to make a cone such that the arc length VW, so VW is the circumference of the base of the cone. So we want to fold it to make a cone, the base of the cone. Lah. Right, so here the base of the cone. So the circumference here is VW. Right, find the height of the cone in CM. So we know that VW is equal to VW is equal to R, right? R, R, R VW. So the formula to calculate R S is equal to R theta, where this one is radius and this one is angle in radian. So we have both. So this is 64 and theta is equal to 2 radian. So when we fold it into a cone, so we will get a circumference. So uh, we got not a circumference, we will get a circle of VW. So we know that 2 pi r is equal to 2 pi r is equal to VW. But we don't know yet what is the r. So it's equal to 2 pi r. So from this equation, we can find what is the radius that, yeah. So radius is equal to 64 times 2 divided by 2 pi or 3.142. So here we get 20.369 cm. So now we know that the new radius here, r is equal to 20.369 cm. So when we pull into a cone, we know that, so here, so this is the, this one, this is 64, and this is the radius, radius is 20.369 if we take out the triangle here. So we know that the height here is 64, and this one is 20.369, then we can find what is the height using Pythagoras theorem. So here h is equal to third 64 square minus 20.369 square. So here we get 60.67 cm.